are we is, is, are we live now? Yes, but um, let's wait. Yep. Um. All oh, right. Oh, so th this is gonna. This is from my actual save. Uh. So. Yeah. Let's just. I don't. Even, yeah. Let's just use this. So. Yeah. Hi. Um. This was absolute hell to set up. Um. And it's not even. <laughs> like, working. Working the best. So. Um. A bit of backstory. So. Uh, okay, so basically it's just the same old kind of Mario plot, no, who cares, but, um, I, I went online to, like, several years ago to find a 3DS capture card, and the ones that actually are, like, like, wire, wired capture cards are ridiculously expensive, and, uh, I don't even think people make them anymore for the 3DS, so the ne next be best bet was just to find a wireless one. Which is basically just a hacked 3DS that lets you record wirelessly, which is what I'm doing now. So I got that from someone, and that was kind of just in the background for a while. And it was just, I'll use this when I want to do something with the 3DS. And then, I did some testing with it, um, and I... It didn't really work, because I tried playing Smash 3DS at one point, and a lot of the buttons just didn't register. So I had to go out and find a new one. <laughs> which is which was like another two hundred something uh, bucks that I had to like fork over. So that was good. Bucks or quid? Um, yes. <laughs> I kind of just say evil. Like, I it's kind of just a slang term in general. I say evil way, um, but evil way. I had to use up a bunch of money, and then a lot of like just since it since it wasn't like already hacked from a, another source. I had to do it myself, um, and that was its own order. I don't want to get too into that. Like, if you want to figure out how to do this yourself, uh, you're better off finding videos than learning about it from me. So, yeah, that happened. And now, just trying to set this up for these guys, um, I can't exactly get the audio for for it to, for the audio to play for uh, Jason and Scrappy. So they kind of just have to listen to. Thin air. <laughs> so this is or the sound check or the sound check that you linked to us in our chat. <laughs> yeah. So this has been a complete hot mess to um, set up. I the I tried finding like a bunch of different ways to make it work. I even tried like having it having a stream play uh, on the Seas Brain account, but um, because of the de delay, it pr it just wasn't worth doing that. So. Yeah, this is not a great start, but I did want to. I did want to at least do this game, and because of this, there's not going to be probably many uh, 3D SLPs. I I do want to at least do this in 3D land, but besides that, <laughs> that probably won't be much. So yeah, that's my story for this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I. It's a good start. Well, anyway, this is new Super Mario Bros. 2, released for the Nintendo 3DS in August of 2012. Developed by Nintendo EAD back when they were EAD. Wasn't yeah. it also around the same time that new Mario Wii uh, U came out? Yes. Several months before. Yeah. Oh. So, this is, um... Because remember, the 3DS was struggling, and Nintendo wanted a game out, and needed to test... ...teach their younger developers how to make a Mario platformer. Yeah, and this is... I think this is the time where um, people really started having issues with this series because because it's like um, I don't think anyone had issues with New Mario DS because like first game first game in the series and it's also the first like two D Mario game in a in a hot minute. So I've lost the screen. What what what's going on? Good. What happened? <laughs> Can they see this? Uh yeah no they. They can't. Okay, hold on. This is good. See what I mean? <laughs> I, I, this is gonna be a legendary place where I can feel it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give, me, give me a minute. <laughs> Why is this so bad? His voice crack. Why is this so bad? No, everything died. Oh my god, why? This is so not worth it.
Yeah, it just killed itself. This is the dumbest thing ever. The thing is as well, it's not going to save every level, is it? I hate everything. This game hates you, apparently. It just, this just doesn't work. So, uh, just to just remind you all, this game is like 10 years old now. Just enjoy that knowledge. So, like, everyone always made the very tired new Super Mario, but isn't that new anymore, jokes, but now it actually is very old. <laughs> yeah, so now I have to go back into the game like this. <sighs> Jesus. Can we, like, just do the post-game in, like, a stream? Like, you know, the bonus worlds? No, I have to... <laughs> Is this even going to work? Because I have... I can't... Okay, I, you can't skip this opening cutscene, can you? I don't know. This is... Oh gosh. Legendary. I'm just... I'm sorry, I'm just realizing just how silly Mario and Luigi's flight animations are now. <laughs> God. Like, they were only gone for like... Probably... I don't know, two minutes maybe. <laughs> and even they the Mario about this. They probably shouldn't have done this. <laughs> even the Mario Advance Two opening had like them flying around a bit longer. Yeah. This is already, oh, dang. This is already, poor Peach. This is already like the worst thing we've done. <laughs> nah, but, nah, nothing will be as bad. As Donkey Kong uh, Country Returns. Yeah, but at least that oh, thing. Wow. At least that worked. This is funny. Hold on. Hold on now. Clearly we need to split the difference and just go through Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. <laughs> uh, do you even have that? No. Oh, they are exclusive levels, so um, you kind of have to play it so you said you've beaten the whole game. Ah. Uh. God. So I'm, I'm terrified now. Like, if, if it just keeps freezing like that, I don't know if I can even do this. I don't want to just abandon this though, that would be kind of sucky. I mean, I that'd be up. fine, just... I'd be fine if we, if, like, if we absolutely had to, like, just put this as a stream game and then you could, like, just put, upload the, the parts individually on YouTube later. I mean, we Maybe. could private, we could, we could private, we could mark it privately and then just hope somebody charges in. I mean, even then... I mean, I mean, as long as you turn off the, uh, the, the chat, it won't invade our call- it won't invade the Let's Play, I think. Well, the- the thing is, though, like, I- the issue is, um, like, the freezing in general, and I, that's not gonna be fixed from stream. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. So you're saying that Tony needs to port this game to Switch? That would make a lot of it, a lot of my life easier, so yes. God. Honestly, I have gone. No, no, nothing. This is just really frustrating. I don't say I have. I do legitimately. I have legitimately, legitimately missed the handheld new Mario games like UI. Mm. Like. Yeah. The bottom screen displaying all your stuff was very helpful. Yeah. Yeah, the, the reason why um, Mario DS was easy to record was, was because it, they put it on Wii U, but not for this. Which, I, I mean, I get it, 3DS, but... Man... Yeah, I, I, I also wish the 3DS... I also wish the Wii U had virtual console for 3DS. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for this game, like, they aren't really doing anything that it can't... You wouldn't be able to do on, uh, like, the Wii U. Hmm. But it's like, man, 
I don't like having to record stuff like this where I don't know if it's even gonna function. God. Well, this is the first time. Yeah. I'm gonna need to, like, look things up later to have a bit a more clean recording next time. But yeah, this... This is a game. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. But I was talking about earlier how uh, there was a time when people got a bit, started getting a bit uh, tired of this series, where it's like, oh, it's like the same every game, which um, I, think, I think it's more um, prevalent when both, like, two of these games came out really close to one another, um, and I feel like that's a bit extreme. Like, I don't think they needed to have both this and you in the same year, let alone, like, what is it? Like, wasn't it just a few months apart? Yeah, three months apart because... Three months apart because, well, Wii U needed a launch game and I guess 3DS needed to pick me up. Mm. Yeah, I feel like... I mean, I guess we'll talk a bit about, a bit about that when we play U, but... I feel like that didn't really help the Wii U's launch, like, starting with... Nice. Uh, starting with a, um, new Super Mario Bros. game. Uh... I obviously... I can't imagine 3D Land would have been done, but... Or anything like that, but... That, I feel like that would definitely be a good... You mean 3D World? 3D World, yeah. Um, but I feel like that would have been a much stronger, like launch game. Nice. Am I really gonna have to replay the level just for that? What happened? Uh, sorry, I was I backed up. I need to... Yeah, I need... You need the Mega Mushroom to break through the brick so I can get the gold to start going. Yeah. That's fine. These they... levels are, like, really short. Well, um, yeah, I'm sure 3 World would have been... I mean, not even necessarily better, but probably a preferred... Uh, launch title by multiple parties, but, well, that's kind of the breaks with developing a 3D game for Nintendo's first HD system, like... Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... I don't know how EAD was divided up back in that day, but... Like, it's possible their resources were, like, busy with Nintendo Land at that point. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Reggie himself said that, like, one of the issues with the, with the Wii U was, was the fact that, uh... They had issues like transitioning into 3D, not 3D, uh, HD development, and that made a lot of games take longer to make. Um, like the Wii U definitely had a lot of, like a decent amount of heavy hitters, but they took way, way longer to come out than any other um, Nintendo console Console really. so, outside of the N64. Well, even, even, I, I mean, I guess, but that also had. The I mean, I mean without like, rare. Yeah, rare. Yeah, with Rare, that definitely uh, helped it, but yeah, the N64 definitely had a surprisingly, like, limited uh, lineup, but with the Wii U specifically, they, like, it was just really difficult for Nintendo to uh, go into HD development, especially since they were, like, a decade, not a decade, a generation late generation. to the curve. Yeah, so... You know, but, you know, I don't even need to say anything, you guys are saying everything. <laughs> I mean... I don't have anything to say anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this game is... not like hyper, like... not like a hyper showcase of the 3 is graphical prowess, uh, but it's very clean looking. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, long nice. story short... Go on. No, I'll say it, it looks nice, yeah. So yeah, long story short, HD messed up everyone. Like... HD is not easy. I mean, considering how expensive like, games are to are like to make now, like seriously. Well, I mean, you, when you compare just how just in general HD is and easy, I can even imagine for TV even. Yeah. So, uh, the mushroom houses are pretty un un unimpressive in this game. Here's shit. Go. Yeah, yeah. The, the the Wii version, I think, I think has the best uh, mini game because it's fun. <laughs> it's fun just uh, seeing how many items you can get. Whereas in yeah, in this game, you just here's all the items, pick whatever, and 
Have fun, idiot. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Um. <laughs> well, I mean, the. Hmm? Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I made scrap. I, I'm surprised how much I made Scrappy die with that one. It's pretty. It's. It's good. It makes yeah. sense. And <laughs> hello, here's the selling point of this game outside of like symmetrical handheld co-op. The yeah. return of our friend the raccoon leaf, which you know I didn't really play Mario 3, so it just has this means nothing to me. Yeah, I, I was never. Well, I know what we're doing next time. We're gonna. <laughs> I was never we're really like play Mario 3 co-op. Oh right, that game. Well, I mean, it's like you take your turns. Um, right. But like, I was never like in love with the. Like uh, raccoon leaf or whatever, um, like it's fine, but I, I always, I always tend to have issues, uh, like with actually hitting things with it. I don't know. I kind of, I feel like I, I kind of just suck at Mario Three. I'll be honest. <laughs> hey, you too. <laughs> I think, I mean, I was obviously outside of Lost Levels. I think it is the hardest old school two uh, D Mario. No, it is. There's a reason why, if you ever watch the, the Runaway Guys run, why why Chugga struggle so much. <laughs> oh, okay, well, at least it's not just me. <laughs> no, no, it's known to be a difficult game. It's just, okay. yeah, it just has an actual save system, unlike Mario One. Hmm. Yeah, that does help. Uh, and like, I know if you ignore the um, uh, the how what's it called? The not mystery houses. Uh, things in Mario World. What are they called? What, 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 what things? The, uh, w the one that, the ones that make special blocks of her. Special you know switch palaces? Hidden pa yeah, switch the palace, palaces? switch palaces. Yeah, I, if you don't hit the switch palaces, I know that game is, like, a lot harder than it usually is, but, you know. Well, that's only by proxy, but the fact that you don't, ain't it, you don't get shit. Yeah, because I noticed that when uh, Lewis was playing a while ago, um, he didn't really find any of the Switch Palaces besides, like, the first one, I think. So, a lot of the... That one's just practically given to you. Yeah, that one's just given to you. So, like, yeah, he had a much d more difficult time with that because... Oh, uh, God, if he, if he ever plays that again, I am playing co-op with him. I feel like... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like you should play the game solo first. <laughs> it's, like, a more... Did, did, he, did, did he ever finish? I no. played Mario World no. solo on Game Boy Advance. I've had my fill. <laughs> well, like, wasn't it my first time playing? Well, like, was 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 when we played um Mario uh, World on the on the NSO. Was that was that our first? Was that your first time playing it co-op, or was that your first me? time playing it in general? Oh me? Yeah. No, I played Mario World several times. Oh. I, um, co-op. Uh, it's probably the first time I've been at co-op, but I'm pretty sure I played it co-op before. So where is this? Mm. Right. Oh, hey, these Goombas are on a roll tonight. It's been a while you know, since I I play, a... it's been a while since I played the two D Mario game. Oh yeah, for reference, people, before this, uh, Harry was playing um, Mario uh, Sunshine, but he was doing it hoverless. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, playing Sunshine twice in the same year. Um... That's more than most people will play. If you're wondering, Scrappy, yes, he did do it. Yeah, I had to uh, cheese Corona did. Mountain. It was uh, funny. He glitched. What the heck? Am I already, like, missing a second star coin? Maybe it's above. Yeah, it might be in the sky, actually. Probably. What was I going to say? Um, yeah, I was harsher on the, uh, the raccoon leaf than I needed to be. Um... I don't have that much affinity for Mario 3, but I do like the, the, the design of the power-up, like... I kind of like the... I kind of like the, the ears and the tail more than the bot than the full suit. Hmm. Yeah. You collected like, 50 best coins! Yay, because I, it's... I visually yeah. prefer it over, like, the cape, even though the cape is, like, better. Mm. Actually, actually, have we talked about the coins? No, we, no, we haven't. We barely talked about the game, this game specifically. Yeah. Um, well, Bye, this game Mario belongs. Fly. Yeah, it's the yeah, main this, game. Um, the uh, working title for this game was called New Super Mario Brothers Gold, <laughs> and I think it was meant to be more of a, I guess, more of a remix of, I guess, New Mario One and a full-on sequel. Is that actually a, like true? Like it was going to be New Super Mario Brothers Gold? Yes, that was the plan title. 
That makes more sense because, uh, like calling this New Super Mario Bros. 2 just makes no sense. See, the handheld entries are there actually the mainline games, like in Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, here so, we go. So, I guess if they made a new, new Mario Brothers on Switch, I guess it would be New Mario 3. Huh. Well, that's weird, though, because there's uh, already, uh, like, Mario U Deluxe. Well, it's just a mere port of a spin-off. It's like if <laughs> Pokemon Stadium was ported to the 3DS. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess Super Mario Run is new Super Mario Bros. 3, so... <laughs> Enjoy that trivia. Mario number one. I like the I like Raccoon Mario. I just like the build up to running and taking off is a, it does kind of mess with me because I have too much muscle memory from Super Mario World. Mm. Yeah, and it's nowhere near as broken as the cape. So yeah, this is also just a time when they just had a bunch of a. A bunch of love for Mario 3 callbacks for some reason, because they also brought the, um... I, I guess just going to, uh, when this was, like, when this came out, like, this was, uh, after 3D Land, I believe? Or is it, was this before or after? After 3D Land. Okay, so, yeah, this is, in general, was, like, the time when they kept bringing stuff from Mario 3 back for some reason. Um, I mean, they never really stopped. <laughs> no, but, like... This definitely feels like the time where it was at its peak. Um, I feel like nowadays it seems like they're trying to do more, like, quote-unquote original stuff. Also nice. Uh, but, I, it's, I don't know, it's kind, of interesting. it's kind of interesting how you have two games in a row that have, like, a raccoon kind of power-up. I, mean, I mean, 3D Land, like... I mean, yeah. 3D Land brought back the Tanuki suit. I mean, not that it really functions exactly like it did in New in Super Mario 3. Mm -hmm. No, but it did have a stone leaf. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, for like its special, like, pity power up version. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, with 3D Land, uh, the. Yeah, they don't let you fly with it because I f that would just <laughs> break the level design in a 3D space. Well, like, for that kind of game specifically, it would be like, um, well, maybe not as broken as this necessarily, but it would be like having the flying Mario power from Galaxy, but just in a regular stage. But, um, you know, that's the, that's also the only secret exit I remember in this game, so. <laughs> I probably have one in a, in a fortress. Yeah, no, they, there's some... Um, yeah, so in in the um, DS game, there was a secret that was just like that, which is a bit, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit lame that it's <laughs> kind of the same thing here, but sure. Mm. Um, but yeah, the, one reason why I really wanted to do this is because um, when I first played it back in... Oh god, I'm not even going to put a time frame on it, but when I first played it... Uh, I didn't necessarily dislike it, but it was definitely one of the least interesting Mario games I've played. And I wanted to LP it and just, or just play it again in general, just to get a second uh, view of the game and just see how I feel now, because I have seen some videos, and I think Jason can attest to this, where, um, like, New Mario 2 was seen in a, quite a bit more of a positive light than it usually is by people. And that definitely give, gave me more of a want to give this game another try. I'm not going to say after this that it's going to be like my favorite Mario game or anything, but I do want to give it a fair shake before just writing it off entirely. Um, You're talking about Coco Hawk, I think it was, right? Yeah, mainly that, yeah. Um, cool. Bas someone who basically did a retrospective of the uh, new Super Mario Bros. series. It was definitely an interesting uh, watch. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And I've already missed a coin. Yeah, Go you're gonna... back to the... Oh, you can't. Uh, you're gonna have to forgive me, uh, in general. No. I, <laughs> I, I don't have, like, 
any memory of this game. <laughs> so I don't know how the sign dropped. Yeah, that's funny. So I don't, I don't know where things are. You'll just have to bear with me. Because um, yeah, I think they, these guys talked about it off screen, but um, they're. Your, your experience with this game is either limited or non-existent, right? Non- uh, limit- super- se severely limited. Right. I've only played it for, like, half an hour. Mmm. Oh, hi, Ray. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about the Koopalings in a minute, I guess, but... Uh, gotta find this coin. Oh yeah, and also, because this, this game has a coin gimmick, you get one-ups like, <laughs> like, I swear to god, like, every five, every like five seconds, or, some, or something, so, you're really gonna have to try to game over in this game, because <laughs> it's, um, probably around the same difficulty or even easier than the other ones, so, um, now, that might be true, Harry, but I believe in you, I think you can do it. I... I, truth be told, I, I do think, I do think this would be like a decent big, like, starting game for a newcomer, so I think it definitely has that going for it, um, like, I think, like, having a good first game for people is definitely very important. Given how large the 3DS's install base wound up becoming, this probably was a lot of people's first Mario game. Mm. Yeah, this in 3D land, because like this like these two games are some of the easiest in the series, and I think it's they're both pretty good in easing people in, especially since 3D land is like trying to be a 2D Mario game in a 3D space. So it's very I feel like it's probably very natural for people to uh jump into that. What the heck is this? No, no, go to the red, red pipe, Harry. Red pipe. Okay. Yep. Is this just for coins? Let's oh. find out. Oh, okay. Cool. Ah! Oh. It Thanks, game. What? <laughs> Time what? Oh wait, the, the the coins on a timer? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. That's stupid. Bro. <laughs> this, this is good. But yeah, you have your one-up houses and all that still, so. Mm. Man. Hopefully I don't have to like replay levels like too often like this. Go back, I guess. Do it again. Yeah. I didn't realize it was on a, on a timer. That's fine. I'll just ignore the ignore these uh, coins, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I will say this as well. Um, the I remember this game also just being really short as well. Um, so, hopefully this won't be a super long pl playthrough, but we shall see. I know there's, um, they have the worlds work a little bit differently from the other games, because you know how these games usually have your the same eight themes? Uh, the way this one does it is a little bit, um, unique, where it, like, three of the worlds are special, um, like, you see the two question marks there, and then there's the... Designated World Nine, uh, and then like the two special worlds are like weird abstract things, and then that leaves like two like major world like main worlds 
unaccounted for. So I think one of the worlds is actually two world themes in one, which is like not anything that the other new Super Mario Bros. games do, which is which is nice, I guess. It does make this one stand out a little bit more. Right. Yeah, this one, this mini game is fun. I don't remember what the one in the mini game in you is. Cause isn't wasn't we the cannon? Yeah, the aim and everything. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember the what, the, what Mario U mini game is then. We'll find out someday. Uh, another so one of these. we're we're. I guess the world map is kind of similar to New Mario One's world map, where it's just like two optional worlds. Except now, in this game, they're just not numbered, and they just kind of have their own special de designations. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Like this, this game is more of a sequel to New Mario One in certain ways. Yeah. I just wish they had like carried over some of, like the old music tracks from the first game that never kind of made it back. Mm. I guess to, we might as well bring that up, um, but there isn't like a lot of necessarily new music tracks in this game, but what they do do is um, they kind of add like a new, um, I don't know, musical terms, forgive me. They <laughs> arranged, they arranged most of the music tracks. Yeah, well they arranged it, but like there's, there's a term, on, they added like a layer of bars, basically to yeah. make it like an a cappella, more or less. Which, um, I think in some tracks it really works, like, I think the main theme, um, like we're hearing now, really makes it work, and it adds, like, a lot more energy to the song, but when it's, like, added to, like, the castle theme, for instance, I don't think that fits at all, um, so it's definitely a case-by-case -case basis, but I do think it, it lands fairly strong when it does, though, but, um, besides that, I don't think there's any new tracks necessarily here? What do you mean? Mm. I don't... I don't think yeah. it's just, just arranged. Yeah. Either reused, like, either arrangements or directly reused stuff for a very small handful of tracks. Yeah. Um, like, I get, like, I, I do like some of the, I guess, acapella heavy remixes, like, mm -hmm. like the title theme and the credits theme are, are, I think, are kind of better than the ones heard in New Mario Wii. Yeah. It's like the ones in Mario Wii, uh, they're clean sounding, but they also some of, some tracks don't have a lot of energy sometimes. No, Harry, follow the shell off screen. No. Right, where's this? Where this coin at? Take the sky, my son. And yeah, the Koopa still dance during the music, which will inevitably mess up your timing. Yeah. Yeah, that's happened to me a few times on Wii. For the next new Super oh, Mario Brothers, they're just going to pull out a gun and shoot you when the, <laughs> when the music hits a certain beat. Is it, was it Mario 64? But you have a gun, but it's the enemies instead. Hey. Nice. It is like, like, collecting coins is one of those things where like, it, it's always satisfying to do, so the core gimmick is definitely strong, like, it's, like, <laughs> I've said it before, but I don't mind it when there's a game that has a one-up system that gives you just a bunch of lives to negate the fear of a game over, because in general, I just think a life system is just stupid at this point, to be blunt. So anything to just negate that is fine by me, honestly, because um, unless you're like an arcade game or something along those lines, I don't really see the point in it anymore. I don't know if we've actually, we t I know we've talked about lives before, but I don't know how you guys feel about them, like, in general. Lives are good, we should, we should all get lives. I mean, <laughs> that's a different kind of life, but you know, <laughs> that is true. Oh gosh, I hate those. I don't know what the purple cheat keys are called. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
cheap skates. <laughs> Is Jason still alive? I saw him when I did my mom was vacuuming. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, what are your guys' thoughts on, like, game life systems? But sometimes it could be Jason's Mm -hmm. Like, would you prefer if they were, like, gone, or uh, do you like some games having them? Uh, mm. I'm old, so I prefer just to have them, but not, like, be stingy with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm more so, you know, that. take the time, developers, to, like, you know, create a life system, even if we're not going to really take advantage of a game over. <laughs> just do that for me. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, what was I going to say? Like, I don't... Like, it's, it's fine, and, like... If they have, it's like, there's, like, special achievements or, like, little... tricks you get for getting, like, 99 lives and sure have a life system. Mm. Yeah, I know, I know in Mario Wii, like, you get to play as Mario without his hat. Trying to get Mario heat stroke again. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Ah Good thing you can't jump oh, out. Boy. Oh boy, that fish again. <laughs> uh, good thing I developed secret gills. Oh. No. Oh god, no, not you! Not you! No. Even though, like, those. The, those enemies, like, they're not, is that a porky puffer or is it something else? Porky puffers have, like, spines on them, they're like puffer fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. What, I don't know what those ones are called. Yeah, look, that one looks like just a purple variant of, like, a Big Bertha. Big oh, yeah, Bertha. Big Bertha, yeah. Yeah, even though, like, they make that creepy, like, sound and all that, um, nothing will ever be more terrifying to me than, like, was it? Bubba, or whatever that his name is in 64. Like, good lord. Bubba, you mean Nagi? No, the uh, giant fish in Tiny Huge Island. Yeah, I haven't played that stage in years. Um. Yeah, I think in DS it's just replaced by, like, Big Bertha. Which is uh, mm. considerably less terrifying. A lot of things in 64 DS are considerably less terrifying than the original. Yeah. Funny thing, actually, speaking of Bubba, um, I think the, um, the fish in, oh good, uh, the fish in Sunshine actually are supposed to be, like, the same species, but considering that they, them eating you doesn't result in, like, an immediate death, and they're also just inherently a lot less terrifying looking, like, I, I had to look that up before even knowing they were part of the same species, like, that's how much disconnected designs have. Um, but that's I mean, that's kind of the Isle Delphino special, to be fair. True, yeah. But, um, yeah. Welcome to Isle Delphino, where our Yoshi's dissolved in water. <laughs> yeah. Coinage. This would make a great Wario Land game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, baby! Oh, baby. My yeah. Yeah, I hurt my voice a little. Yeah. <laughs> Wario. <laughs> hey. Wario. Yeah. Everything in this game is just designed for you to get more coins. Yeah. So it's fun. I see you've activated golden showers mode. Yeah, basically. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess one way to say it, call this game is say like, it's kind of like junk food, I guess, in a way. <laughs> That's one way to word it. Yeah, not not necessarily in a bad way, but it's just like the easiest way I can describe it. Mm -hmm. Cut out! I never heard what you said. It's kind of like junk food. <laughs> like it's something very simple, but it's like inherently satisfying in a way um, that it's just you just it, 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 I don't know <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I 
guess even junk food requires some competency to make it. Mm. <sighs> Sorry. Yes. Nice, okay. I get worried when I don't have a don't get a star coin for a while. I haven't broken a crate and crash four in ten minutes. Something's not right. <laughs> yeah, that that <laughs> yeah. Also yeah, if crash four is more like I haven't broken a broken a crate in like ten seconds. Yeah. Okay, th this, there has to be something here. Oh yeah, uh, I guess... I don't know, I don't actually know why um, this game doesn't have the spin attack. But yeah, that the spin move from, uh, like besides the, to, uh, the raccoon spin, um, the spin from Mario Wii is just not here. No motion, well... Because the PS did have some limited motion control, but no Wiimote. Is that nothing? What's this the is the, the direct sequel to New Super Mario Bros. 1. It's like yeah. Dreamland. It's like Kirby's Dreamland 2. Actually, wait, what's the best? It's like Dreamland 3 to Dreamland 2. Goodness gracious. It's like Dreamland 3 being a sequel to Dreamland 2, not Superstar. Mm. So it's Mario's kid is basically as it was in, in 2006. <laughs> I think I remember the secret actually being somewhere here. Like, actually, not. I think none of the power-ups that were introduced in New Mario Wii came back for this game. No. Like, yeah, we got the blue shell and Mega Mushroom back in exchange, but... Yeah, no penguin suit. Oh, here we go. Uh, so that's for... Yeah, I, I remember it being somewhere there. <clears throat> Friggin' I love the Piranha Plant sound effect. Yeah. Mm. Hooray! <laughs> Wait, wrong game. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, this is a tangent, but... The... What... Like... Loki kind of annoys me whenever I finish a Mario World Station Mario Maker. Like, either of them. Okay, we finished everything here. Um, it's the fact that it doesn't do the... Whenever you finish the Mario World Station, it just... <laughs> confuses my brain. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. So this is... So when you get, like, these special, like, special cannons, it's, uh, leading you to a, uh, like, a secret world. So we're gonna just do that real quick. I actually kind of, I actually kind of like these because it's actually like a mini level as opposed to just the cannon just launching you and that's it. Yeah, I, I do appreciate that. And the just random dark screen kind of reminds me of the oh, Mario Three. Nah, no, that is fine. It, you don't need to worry about that. In my life. Yeah, boy. That's it. You can me, get to me, so. me, 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 me. Peach get how did Peach get kidnapped? Already? Larry just like just keeps going. Yeah. Like Peach Peach we didn't even defeat Roy yet. Peach has already been migrated to a new castle. Yeah, that's the thing of the like this I think this happens in like all the new Super Mario Bros. games, but if you use a cannon to another world, uh the uh game's like structure kinda just has a fit where people Peach, Peach will just kinda Warp uh, to another world before you even like finish the others. It's pretty what funny. What if it's what if it's time travel? <laughs> Super Mario Bros. Warped. <laughs> That's the best I've got. <laughs> yeah. Oh, weather is not really that good outside my house right now. Nice. It's nice, uh, little like particle effects going on here. Mm. Yeah, th this 
it's not mind blowing or anything, like just going back to the what we were talking about like earlier. But the game does look pretty good. Hmm. I mean it's not mind blowing. No, of course not, but I mean if you want mind blowing 3DS games, I think that would probably go to um Kid Icarus. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I wonder what what is, I wonder what is the best looking uh, 3DS game. Kid, Car Kid Icarus uh, is definitely up there. It's just in terms of its overall presentation. Yeah, I don't know if I I don't know if that would be like the best overall though, but I don't know either. But again, it's, def it's definitely up there. Um, I'd imagine like I'm honestly, I'm gonna have a better Ash. <laughs> oh oh yes, yeah, Sm Smash 3DS definitely. Um, I don't know, maybe even maybe like Monster Hunter. Uh, or whatever, the, the, the one that, like, Generations Ultimate or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's what, the, yeah, the one that, that's what they called it in Japan. Hey, well, I think it was, like, Double Cross in Japan. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go back. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's probably up there. I'm trying to think of what else looks good. Um, right. Are we like? Yeah. I mean, are we talking about like just the early titles or just the overall? No, just overall. overall. Just, just overall, like what, like some of the best 3DS titles, uh, best looking 3DS games. Presentation. More so. I mean, the, 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 the 3DS had a long lifespan, so like we covered like it, it ran the gamut. So, uh, yeah, we could be out here for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean. I think Star Fox 64 3D looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that is true. I've never actually played it myself, but it's a... Yeah, that is true. From that, was that launch or launch window? It was like June 2011, I think. I mean, honestly... I mean, I... To be honest, I think... Uh, like... 64 3D doesn't honestly look that much worse than Zero, if I'll be honest. <laughs> Which is kind of sad. Oof. Like, Zero looks fine, but like... But it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't really impress me, like, visually that much. Mm. I can at least know why in that case. Mm. Hi, Roy, how you doing? I mean, the fact that f the 3DS game can look as, uh, nearly as good as a Wii U game is impressive, like, in that sense, I guess. Um, then, yeah. So, uh, um, I'm trying to remember things about Roy. All the remakes look pretty good. Oh um, yeah, that's true, yeah. I forgot about the Zelda remakes. Yeah, I'm just listening to all these like old 3DS games, like Yeah, as much as it, as many as much as I have issues with uh, Majora's Mask 3D, that game does look really good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the Kirby games look good. Like most of Nintendo's output looks fine. A lot of uh, the first party stuff is great. Like, like I'm not like huge on like the art direction, but Mario and Luigi games look 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 are pretty visually impressive for what they were trying to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, how you do? How you doing, Iggy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have more are of you a soft. Waiting there the whole time. Wait, what? Is Iggy just waiting? I guess that. Yeah. It's like hot potato. I knew, I knew Roy was gonna fuck up. Okay, so before we move on to what we're talking about, uh, mushroom or desert? Uh, mushroom. Okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, just make sure we've done everything here. You said you had a soft spot for what? Um, I have more, I definitely have a more of a soft spot for the, um, like, DS and the, the, well, there's only the one GBA game, but I definitely have a soft spot for that, um, art design compared to the 3DS ones. I, I like oh how, I do like how Dream Team looks, but there's just something about how the DS games look that I just that just speaks to me, I guess. 